Hi, I'm Donna Lewis. Welcome to Livestreams, a multimedia devotional experience brought to you exclusively by Christian Women Living. Today's topic is firmly rooted. What comes to mind when you hear these words? Maybe a tree? As I'm looking out my window right now, I see a lot of really beautiful oak trees and um, ash trees, um, trees with beautiful little white flowers starting to blossom. My neighbor next door grows a garden every spring that's absolutely gorgeous, and the soil is rich and fertile. This past winter, my husband and I drove through the redwoods, and I wonder what their root system must look like, especially when they intertwine with each other. Um, and they just, they just tower into the sky like skyscrapers. They're so beautiful. So yeah, what comes to your mind when you hear firmly rooted? Now, listen as I read to you from Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. I'm reading from the Amplified Classic Edition. As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord, so walk, regulate your lives, and conduct yourselves in union with and conformity to Him. Have the roots of your being firmly and deeply planted in Him, and founded in Him, being continually built up in Him, becoming increasingly more confirmed and established in the faith, just as you were taught, and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. Let's just take a quick look at the key words used in this passage of Scripture. Let's begin with rooted. Rooted is to be strengthened with roots, to render firm, to fix, establish, and be thoroughly grounded. Let's look at a negative image for a moment. Imagine digging in your garden and you have some weeds and you're pulling these weeds and pulling these weeds and they will not come out. You have to go get your shovel and dig down to the furthest depths of the earth's crust just to get those dang weeds up and out of your flower bed. Who's been there? Hello. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of those weeds are terrible because their roots go so deep and so thick and so strong. On, in a positive sense, when a tree is firmly rooted, windstorms will come. Wildfires will come, but because those roots go so deep into the richness of the soil and they're connected to the other trees around them, the wind is not going to blow them down, even if it's a hurricane wind. Fires are not going to burn it. It may char the outside of the tree, but the tree itself will stand. This is what it means to be firmly rooted. You're not going to be blown over by a storm or scorched to death by a fire because your roots go deep. To be built up. Now, I found this to be extremely interesting. It means to finish the structure, to continue on it, to increase and elevate its size. These redwoods that Jade and I drove through this winter were enormous. They were as big as skyscrapers. Their roots went deep and they grew tall and beautiful and strong. 
established, to confirm, to make firm, make sure, to be steadfast. And again, I love this, to be constant in soul. To be constant in soul. You're not going to waver. You're not going to be distracted in this direction or in that direction. You're not going to see the sparkly shinies and go, ooh, got to have it. No, you're going to be constant in soul not easily swayed by every new teaching that comes around. Not easily distracted by ambition and self-interest. Not discouraged by the fires that sweep through from time to time in everyone's life. Rooted, built up, and established. I hope what you've been able to take away from this devotional experience is that our relationship with Jesus Christ who is the author of our faith and the completer of it, is one that is interactive. Christ will never do for us what we are not expected to do ourselves. In other words, he's not going to download every word of God into our hearts and minds without us picking up that word and intentionally reading it. It isn't like just plugging into the matrix and suddenly being able to uh, fight with judo, right? Uh, or suddenly be an expert motorcycle rider. I mean, hello, I wish I could, but that is not the way God works. <laughs> God expects us to interact with him in the process. So as we pick up that word and we prayerfully internalize it, either by reading it or listening to it or a combination of the two, and then prayerfully understanding what those words are saying, the Holy Spirit will take God's word as we are internalizing it and empower us with it. As we rely upon the Holy Spirit and take the time and attention to receive the word of God with a heart intent on obeying it, then those words of life begin to ignite within us, rooting us deeply into the presence of God and building us up in our most holy faith. I pray this word blesses you. And let me know if you have any questions. I would be delighted to answer them. You can always leave those in the comments of this video. You can reach out to me at Breathe Life Ministries, uh, either on Facebook or at my website, breathlifeministries.com. Um, you can reach out to me through Instagram as well. I am there. And... Uh, the other social media platforms that you can find listed at, at uh, Christian Women Living. You can reach out to me there as well. So anyway, I pray you are blessed by this devotional. 
Please share this devotional with others so that they can benefit from it. You will also have opportunity to download a free study guide to go deeper into this word of life. God bless and I will see you next time on Live Streams.